Three former Phoenix Suns will be inducted into the 2018 Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. Steve Nash, Grant Hill, and Jason Kidd all spent part of their careers here in Phoenix. Nash was inducted into the Phoenix Suns Ring of Honor in October 2015 and won two MVP awards while in the Valley. These three players are the first former Suns to be inducted to the Hall of Fame since Shaquille O'Neal was inducted in 2016. Opening day for Major League Baseball is swinging across the nation and here in Arizona today. Chase Field features a new addition to the ballpark that fans will never see, but could have a significant impact on the game. Cronkite News reporter Blaine McCormick is just a few blocks away from our Cronkite News studios at Chase Field with more. Blaine. And thank you, Nicole. Today, the Arizona Diamondbacks will open their season against the Colorado Rockies at 710. But this season will have a trace of humidity. But I'm not talking about the weather. Earlier this season, the Diamondbacks announced that their baseballs will now be stored in an on-site humidor. You can definitely tell a difference in the ball, and I'm sure, you know, scientifically speaking, there are some advantages, and it does slow the ball down a little bit. But um, when you're facing the Rockies, when you're facing the D-backs, at both places, you know, you got to make good pitches. In the 20 seasons since the Diamondbacks entered Major League Baseball in 1998, Chase Field has seen an average of 170 home runs per season per baseball reference, fifth among the 15 teams in the National League. Dr. Alan Nathan, a physics professor emeritus at the University of Illinois and one of the leading experts on humidors in baseball, says the new equipment at Chase is all about reducing the bounciness of the ball or in scientific terms, the coefficient of restitution. That coefficient of restitution plays an important role in the collision between the ball and the bat. The larger it is, the faster the ball comes off the bat. Imagine hitting a Super Bowl, okay? uh, as opposed to when it's lower, the ball doesn't come off the bat quite as fast. So it plays a role in the so-called exit speed of the ball from the bat. Nathan went on to say that he expects the humidor will help reduce the number of home runs at Chase Field. The only other ballpark in Major League Baseball with a humidor is Coors Field in Denver. Nathan said home runs there went down 25% after the Rockies installed their humidor in 2002. Diamondbacks first baseman Paul Goldschmidt said the fact baseballs at Chase now will come out of a humidor will not affect his approach at the plate. As a player, you know, all that's out of your control. You're just trying to see the ball, hit the ball, and, you know, if it goes out or if it gets in the gap or it's a hit, then great. And if they catch it, then that's fine. I don't think anyone's going to be changing, you know, what they do. If it affects it, it's going to affect it for both teams. Now, even though this is the first regular season contest where the Diamondbacks will be using the baseballs, they used them in a couple of exhibition matches earlier this week. Live at Chase Field, Blaine McCormick, Cronkite News.